Hello and welcome to a new look at another game. Today I'm taking a look at Lena's Inception Alpha and this is what I might describe as a roguelike. You, you can get like weapon and defensive upgrades and stuff but if you get killed you sort of have to restart. There is some like progression system if you can like continue through your save but there's also an option for permadeath as well. Now as I said this is a very alpha version. It's not very friendly to record with <laughs> with my capture software unfortunately so the when I start the game there's going to be a massive blackboard around the screen but that's nothing I can do about that unfortunately but this game is fun and I would say the main influence of this game is Legend of Zelda Wind, no, not Wind Waker. The one on the Game Boy, Link's Awakening. That's it. It looks very similar to that, which makes me really nostalgic because I love that game so much. It's so great, it's so great. So let's have a look here. There's like sort of challenges you got to unlock. See if you beat eight consecutive dungeons with one life, you can do that. Uh, there's a free heart challenge. There's a no sword. You have to like <laughs> set everything on fire. No sword terrorist. Uh, beat the game without a sword. Uh, there's no sword sniper. Beat beat the game with a bow. And I am error. You need to blow on the cartridge. Oh god. See the Zelda references. Reference to the NES. Reference to Zelda 2. Awesome. And have a look at the options here. See there's a permadeath mode. Uh, you can put some extra options in. You can configure a keyboard and joypad. I don't know what these options do, so I'm not just leaving them. So we're just going to go into play. And we're going to start a new game. So you can name your adventurer. I'm just going to leave it as Lena. And there's actually a different seed. So I'm just going to... I'm going to try the seed Nugget. I'm not going to do permadeath. But I am going to start the game here. And beware, there'll be a massive blackboard around the screen. So I apologise for that, but that's how it goes. Oh god, the music's a bit loud. Let's turn it down a bit. There we go. So, this is Lena, and you start here. So you've got my sword, there's a ZX slot. I've got three hearts and I've got no money. So this is sort of like a pet you can choose. You can have a chicken or a bat. I'm gonna choose the bat. It's kind of good. Yes, so you take so you, you spend some of your health to give the bat some... Carve the pumpkin and sprinkle with blood, yes. Ah, I kind of want the pumpkin. We'll come back for that. So at the moment, we have like a kind of weak sword that can't break anything. It can attack enemies, but you can't like break bushes and stuff. So here we go, there's an introduction. Tells you like your items. Uh, keyboard uses Z, X and C, but I'm using, I've configured it gamepad to do this. And that is actually rather good. Everything's just going to fall off. Alright. Let's go up here. Bloody hell. Got puzzle traps. Come on, let me get in some action, Bat. There we go. Getting in with the action there. Got a coin. Nice. And that Bat is dead. Give me that heart. Yeah. Alright, so now we have to solve the puzzle. Which is pretty easy, to be honest. Move that along there. Oh, I can't. Well, still can solve it. And the door opens. You can definitely tell it's inspired by the Game Boy version of of Legend of Zelda. Brilliant. Obstacles. Many in your journey, many obstacles stand in the way, like these bushes. Sometimes you need a new item to get past. So there's drop down a new sword. And now we can break stuff. We've got the steel sword. Ah yeah, so now I can break all these. One thing I would have to complain about here is the break all these bushes, but you can see how many hearts I'm getting. There's so many. I just think that's way too much. Look at that. Everything, nearly every bush has a coin or a heart in. Fair enough with the coins, maybe. I don't know how much things cost, but the hearts, maybe not. Alright, pumpkin. I want you. Yes. Pumpkin. You follow me instead. I've never had the pumpkin pet. 
Alright, Mr. Pumpkin, we're going this way. Oh, also, you can see the map like this. Uh, press select to do this. You can continue and stuff. I'm going to continue, of course. Also, if you get, like, the map upgrade, you can see, like, the entire dungeon and stuff. As you expect from, like, Zelda sort of dungeons. Come, pumpkins. Ah, oh, bounce around. Love you, pumpkin. Alright, sell that like that. go through. Alright. There we go, we've got the dungeon map. Nice. So, it looks like we've got a room to the right and to the top of us. Then we've got the boss room. The boss tends to be the same every time. It tends to be this big giant bat. Alright, what's there? Oh, shield. Nice. So we can actually just tank the damage and let my mi minion kill everything, nice look at all that stuff I'm getting, it's just OP too much health too much health but as I said it's an alpha things can change and things will change, oh god what are these guys there's a key kill that Bloody up. see I'm do I need this much money? So I'm going to regret it if I need like a, a hundred monies for one item. Alright, let's go through here. And then we need to go through the key door. And here's the boss. It's a bat. We've got to avoid him at all costs. Come on. Oh god, I got hit. Yeah. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Permanent health increase. Nice. Alright, so we go through here and collect an artifact. This Twilight Stopwash. And well, now we're on level 2. Alright, so... Am I going to keep the pumpkin? I think I will. Can't go down. Let's go to the right. What's going on here then? Kill this thing. Even the enemies sort of remind me of the, like, the Link's Awakening type style like enemies you can get. What's going on here? Slimes everywhere. They slimes are just blobs or what? So far, so good. Hmm. Anything special about this room? What's, what sort of is this tile up here? Can I go through there? No? Give me that money. What about through here? Can't go through there. It looks like I need some like items, some kind of maybe a bomb or something that... Something else that opens up. Boxes. Can I break boxes? No? I can't break cardboard boxes, but I can be break these, like, strong bushes. Alright. Die. Yeah, there we go. So we haven't been down. We probably should check it out. Ah! Stop jumping on me. Give me that. Ah, you stupid... Pumpkin stole my health. Alright, up we go. Oh god, what is this? Missing glasses. Hing foes and bushes. Good, good, curious. What? Missing glasses that she seen to the visible glitch dimension. Alright. Glitch objects will become unglitched. Alright. Cool. What's that thing? Go away. Is that my pumpkin? Is that what my pumpkin looks like in the glitch land? Kinda odd. 
Don't need the glitch glasses. Oh god. Yeah, don't need the glitch glasses in this room. Okay, to solve this... Like that, and then... Like that. If I've been down... There were some glitch things down there, wasn't there? See if I can get through this door now. Ow. Kill all these. All the bushes must die. And no hearts now. Like, now it's, like, balanced, isn't it? Uh, there we go. Can we send there? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything in here of notes. Let's go right. God damn it. That it? Ow, I fell in the water twice. What's this? Map? So if we go down, there's only one more room to the boss. Crap. Oh god, what is that? Some bounce. Give me some heart. heart. Oh, I've got no health, really. It's a cat. Ah! 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 What? <laughs> what? Uh. Alright, we can go and do the boss. The game's come to a slowdown by the looks of it. We'll do the boss again. I didn't try the glitch in here, did I? Ah, can't do anything with the cardboard boxes. And we need to go right twice and down. And luckily, I have full health this time. I don't like that. Get past these. Ah, no. I need the glitch glass. Damn it. What did... Did the pump... Ah, oh, my pumpkin died. It got turned into pumpkin, like, pieces. Alright. I don't know how to even hit this cat boss. Any hearts? I'm guessing not. So how do I hit this cat boss? Let's use my shield. Can I protect against these? No, I can't. So, oh, I've got to hit the things. Oh no, he's gonna heal. Really? Ah! Ah! What is this? Come on, him back. Damn it! Yes! I've done some damage! At long last! It's pretty hard to hit him back. God damn it! Ow! Well, <laughs> I think we're gonna end it here. I, But this is a look at this awesome game that's coming out. So I'll put the link in the description below where you can actually go and play this alpha. It's on IndieDB. And I look forward to seeing the finished game. It's the type of game I really enjoy, that retro feel, combined with some mod some modernisation to it. So yeah, this has been Linda's Inception. I'm impressed. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!